in this weekend project, you will be learning how to make your own journal with the basic Coptic binding method. Coptic binding is one of the oldest forms of bookbinding, dating back as early as the second century by the first Christians in Egypt called the Copts. In addition to having a unique look, books bound in this method will lay perfectly flat when opened, making them ideal for notebooks, photo books, and cookbooks. You'll need the following parts to complete this build. And you'll need the following tools. Measure out your book size using a folded piece of standard paper. Trace the folded paper out two times on your material. I'm using a chop saw to cut out the covers of my book. Use sandpaper to smooth out the edges of the covers. Tape the covers together using blue tape and measure an inch in from the top and bottom of the covers. Mark a dot on the inch and one half inch indents and repeat on the bottom. We will now drill the binding holes with a 3 32nd bit. Now we are ready to start filling our covers with pages. You can use a variety of paper styles from graph to thick lined paper. I'm using standard printer paper. Now let's fold the signatures. Signatures are a group of pages folded together. Our signatures are going to be in groups of five, and my book will have five signatures giving me a total of 100 pages. Count out your pages like this, and fold the pages in half with a bone folder to get a sharp edge on your signatures. Once you have folded all of your signatures, we can move on to poking the holes into the signatures. With a pencil, mark the top left corner of every signature to ensure they are lined up properly. Remove a piece of paper from the signature to use as a guide. Line up the paper with the covers and mark the paper where the holes will line up. Fold that piece of paper so that the marks are on the inside of the fold. Open the other signatures and use your guide page to poke holes with the awl. Once you're finished, gather all the signatures and guide paper, aligning them with the marks we made earlier. Cut two sets of strings and coat with beeswax. This helps the strings grip to itself. Now thread the string on each side. You should now have two strings with four needles. We are now ready to stitch the book together. Grab one cover and one signature. Take each needle and sew through the inside of the signature like a U. Go around the outside of the cover and thread the needle through the outside of the cover in. Now thread the needles back into the middle of the first signature, cross the pair of needles over and feed them back out the holes opposite they entered. Now add the next signature. Thread the needle to the middle of the signature, cross over and exit that signature. Now we will count back two signatures including the one we are working with and do a kettle stitch before moving on. Thread the needle in the middle of your hinge. Wrap it around the thread in an outside motion. Pull tight and repeat with all four needles. Now you can continue on with the next signatures. Entering the signature, crossing over and out, then two back, kettle stitch, and repeat until you get to the cover. Once you're at the cover and the last kettle stitch is done, we will now go around the outside of the cover like we did in the other cover. Thread the needles back into the last signature and tie two square knots. Cut the excess string and you now have your very own notebook. The wooden covers will wear well and have a unique look. Make sure to take time to decorate your book with stickers or paint. Experiment with using pre-printed pages or consider giving these away as gifts for friends. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.